everybody in here sitting out on my porch having my coffee with all of you. It's just started to rain and it's supposed to rain all day, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm, I don't even think I can talk yet until I've had coffee. I, I gotta drink my coffee and then I'll come back and talk to you about what's been going on with these chickens. I had to come inside because it started pouring down rain and now it's stopped. Anyhow, I've had my coffee. Uh, it's gonna rain off and on all day, so I'm not gonna be getting a whole lot done. I woke up a couple times last night because Papa wanted to go outside, and when Papa needs to go outside, he gets to go outside. Anyhow, so I need to tell you what's going on with those chickens, okay? Miss Pris Fancy Pants, she is still sitting on the nest. Yesterday, she came out just very briefly, okay? Just to kind of stretch her legs, get something to eat. She was out in the yard, and the other chickens were in the yard with her, and they weren't free-ranging yet. And, um... Remember that one hen that got the side of her neck pecked? And I was like, oh, you poor chicken. Well, I think I know what happened, and I don't think Romeo did it. She went after Miss Pris, mercilessly, pecking at her, pecking at her, getting going after her neck, chasing her all around the yard. I mean, poor Miss Pris. She's already kind of stressed out because she's got a big job ahead of her. So... I think what happened with that one leghorn is she was attacking maybe uh, Miss Pris, maybe one of the other hands, who knows? And she was ugly. She just had that, I mean, it's like her head was down and she's like going after her. Um, and then the black Asian finally said, enough, sister, I ain't having this. And just bit her really bad. Either that or I noticed something else too. When this was all going down, and I, I went to get my, my little sticks that I heard, heard the chickens with um, to, to break them up, basically. Romeo, before I could even get back to the two hens, he had gotten in between those hens, and he took that leghorn by the neck and bit her. So I'm thinking that that may be what happened. Here I am feeling all bad for this hen when it looks like she was instigating. Now, I don't know why she did it. It was very, very strange because it was completely unprovoked. And she, you know, Miss Pris wasn't even going after any of her nearby food. She just came out into the yard and this leghorn just makes a beeline right straight for her. So I don't know if she was trying to tell her, Get back on those eggs, sister. You know, you shouldn't be out here with the rest of us. You need to go hatch those chicks. Or if if uh, Miss Pris was making some noises that she thought she didn't like or whatever. So um, what I did is I got Miss Pris back up into the van. Um, she went back to her eggs and I closed the door so the other chickens couldn't get into the van coop. And then I thought, I can't do this. Um, you know, I can't just leave her like that all the time so um what I thought about then was separating the van and then moving the eggs to the back nesting box but I thought if I do that she may not want to sit on those eggs again so what I did is I took the the drawer that was sitting on top of the file cabinet I took the whole file cabinet with the eggs in it and set it back by the wooden um the wooden, you know, chicken coop. Um, and then I got some of the leftover of the plastic meshing and um, used a little bit of the chicken wire. Um, and I'm going to have to use probably double or triple that up because the chicken wire that I have now, the holes are, it's like a chain link fence. I mean, the holes are pretty big, but they will keep her from going out and they will keep the other hens from going in. And I just got it kind of rigged up. I have to fix it better. It's just kind of up there half is the plastic and then half is the the um chicken wire but uh it, the other hens can't get to her so she's got her own little area back there with the file cabinet nesting box and she really seems to love that and she's got her own food and water source and she can still see her sisters and and uh romeo but she's going to be safe sitting on those eggs so when she was out of the nest, I noticed that there were seven eggs. And now I added two eggs yesterday. Um, so I thought that there were more, but there, there's not. There's seven eggs underneath of her. So I don't know if she'll lay another egg today or if she's just going to stop laying eggs. I, I, I read that once the hens go broody, they um, stop laying eggs. 
Um, so she may or may not have laid an egg. I'm not going to add any more eggs, um, I don't think. I think that, um, you know, seven is enough. I don't know if any of them will hatch. I don't know if a few of them will hatch. I don't know if the ones, if they do hatch, if they'll be roosters, that's okay. Um, I don't know if she'll keep sitting on them. But today she, she, uh... Left, left the nesting box. I, I walked up there in the morning. When I let the other chickens out, she had hopped out because, I, I mean, I guess it's just normal. She wants to come out with the rest of them. Um, but then she just kind of like turned around. She looked, took a couple bites of food and hopped right back in on top of her eggs. And so, I don't know. Hopefully, she'll keep doing it. I did a lot of reading on what a broody hen, I didn't think I would ever get a broody hen, you know, and I thought she was just sitting on the eggs for a long time. So, and, and up days up leading up to that, she was sitting on the nest longer and longer and longer. She would go back and sit in that nest even when there were no eggs in it. So yeah, she's, and she just flattens out all over those eggs. So I am keeping my fingers crossed that this will work. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. It's a learning process. If she doesn't, that's okay. I'll forgive her. I'll just, you know, put everything back the way that it was. Um, so yeah, once I get that area fixed up back in there, um, I'll show you what it looks like. But, you know, I had, I was just about to clean the van out of all the litter. It's, it's almost time. Um, maybe, maybe in about another month, uh, clean all the litter out and start, you know, start fresh put the litter either in the garden beds or on the compost bin, whichever, just depending on how the compost looks underneath. Um, and then I was going to do that. So it's going to be a little bit harder now, but I think I can still get it done. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to wait. I, I want that area back where she's going to be raising her chicks, if she does raise chicks, to be fresh, completely fresh for those baby chickens. So I'll have to figure out how to do all that. It's not going to happen today, though, because it is very damp out there right now. So, um, anyhow, I'm thinking of going to Tractor Supply. I may go today. I may go tomorrow. I need just a few more fence posts, and I need some more fencing. Um, because I measured it, what we've got there right now, I'm about 50 feet short of what I need. Um, and I know Tractor Supply Company has a hundred foot roll that I could get. And you know what? I might just go ahead and get that hundred foot roll because I'm going to expand the fencing eventually. Um, oh, I'm just so tired, you guys. I think that I've talked enough today. This is boring, I know, but I just wanted to give you an update on the chickens and the broody hen. And so just keep our fingers crossed, say some prayers, light a candle, whatever it is you do, that this works out because I really, really hope it will. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one